Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker stuffed peppers for two. Alright guys, I'm starting out in a bowl. I have two pounds of lean ground beef. This is 9 to 10. I want to use lean beef with this because you have no way of getting the excess grease out while it's cooking. You don't want to eat all that grease. And I would normally suggest just using a pound of hamburger for this recipe, but I got orders from Holly. She don't like the pepper itself. She likes the, the meat. So I got orders to make extra meat in there so she could eat that with the sauce that comes with it. So we're using two pounds, but normally just use one pound. I'm going to start by cracking an egg in here. We're going to season this up. And this pretty much goes for the, the same amount of stuff for one pound of burger. I have one medium onion and two cloves of garlic. I minced up here. That's going to go in. And if you wanted to take the easy way, I could just use garlic powder and use onion powder. I'm going to put some salt in here. About a half a teaspoon. You can adjust your seasonings the way you like. About a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You pretty much season this up like you would season up meatballs. Now I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of oregano. And I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm a, I have some Italian seasoned breadcrumb. I'm just going to add a little bit in, about a quarter of a cup. And I'm going to get in there with my hands and get this all mixed together. Guys, I forgot to add this in, so I added it off camera. I added in a quarter of a cup of uncooked white rice. Now, I have enough burger here, or ground beef, however you like to say it, to stuff probably about four to six stuffed peppers. But like I says, I'm making extra uh, ground beef in there for the wife, because like she don't like it in the pepper. And I went ahead and stuffed that pepper. I'll do the next one on camera for you guys. And I'm using my four quart electric pressure cooker. You can use any size you like. I'm just gonna cram these down in there, the ground beef. Okay, and I'm gonna take this extra ground beef. I'm just gonna make nice size meatballs to drop down in there. And the leftovers I'll just put in the fridge and we'll eat throughout the week, next day or two or whatever. And this is nice for just two people or for one person with a really hearty appetite or empty nesters where the kids all grew up and moved out. And it's really not that hard to make. It's a lot easier to make than stuffed cabbage, which I also love. That's delicious. So, I mean... You can see I'm getting a lot of uh, meatballs out of this. I like them too. I like it's in the pepper, but I'll eat like this too, so that's not going to go to waste. Okay, now that I have my peppers in there and those meatballs, I have roughly about three cups of VA juice I'm going to dump in here. You could also use uh, tomato juice if you can't get VA or you don't like it. And I have a ten and a half ounce can of tomato soup, or ten and three quarter ounce. I'm going to dump that down in there. It's going to make a really delicious tomato sauce to go with this. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little more oregano and Italian seasoning in there. Okay, I'm going to seal my lid on here. Be patient with me, guys. I don't use this one too much. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm set on airtight. And I'm going to set this to pressure cook for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes are up, I'll do a quick release and these will be ready to go. All right, guys, my stuffed peppers are done. I did that quick release of the pressure. Let's go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got. All right, guys, let me get in here and give this a taste. So as you can see, let me show you here. The ground beef is cooked through. The rice is cooked. Get in there and give this a taste here. That's really good, well seasoned. When you make something like this or meatloaf, you want to make sure you season it well because uh, if not, it's going to taste bland. As you can see, the pepper just comes right apart. That's nice and tender. 
there you have it guys pressure cooker stuffed peppers for two Let's try thanks for watching and until next time i'll see ya